So I have a new knife here from a relatively new company. And I gotta say, they're doing a really good job. Um, and this knife kind of shows, you know, what they're doing. Now they do have a few models out already. I've had a couple on the channel. Uh, this is definitely an affordable knife. And I do not know the exact price yet. We're gonna talk about that as we go on, but this is the Remet Rhinoceros. And I gotta say, it's got not only a nice or really cool look to it, a good look, but it's done very well. Uh, this is These are some of the best thumb studs I've felt in a long time. Uh, they are thumb studs that I want on all thumb stud knives. They're oversized, they're large, nice and grippy. They give you a nice platform to place your thumb on to build up tension and snap it out. Um, they're very comfortable. They remind me of the, the thumb studs I bought from my Sebenza because I didn't like the Sebenza's thumb studs. But anyways, uh, awesome, awesome thumb studs. Really, really good. Now, these are not stop pins. I know it looks kind of like it, but it it you can see it doesn't hit. Uh, but 14C, 28N, drop point blade. Good looking blade too. Um, definitely a good looking blade. And it does have this little fuller here that you can reverse flick, but the thumb studs are kind of close to it. So you're kind of doing an in-between the thumb studs and the hole. Um, the button lock action is really smooth. Detent is perfect. I mean, this is a fan. This It's a strong detent. And because it's a strong detent, I'm happy that they have these nice thumb studs because it makes for such a clean breaking action. Now, yes, you can use this as a front flipper. Um, I'm not sure if it was supposed to be a front flipper. It does work. It's not the, the best front flipper, but it does, you know, as you can see, it does, oops, that was my fault. It does work, but eh. You know, I like the thumb stud action a lot better. So we have micarta scales over steel liners, deep carry clip that's inset with flat screws, um, not reversible though, that's kind of a downfall, we'll talk about that in a second. Hidden lanyard pin with a micarta backspacer. The micarta, it's not, I wouldn't say it's like premium micarta, but it's definitely not bad. You know, for the price, this is decent micarta. It's, it, you know, it's good. It, offer some good traction, you know, it, it's going to age, you know, as time goes on. Uh, it's very comfortable in the hand. Even if I choke back, I can get still a full, full four finger grip. Um, so when I really want to choke up, yeah, this is nice and comfortable. I can turn around and I can cut straps. I can do utility cuts. Now it does have quite a bit of belly, but you can still get to that tip relatively easily. All in all, man, um, Super solid knife, man. Like I said, they tune the detent and the action so good on it that it kind of makes it addicting to, to mess with. Um, now, there is some negatives, so we'll talk about that. Um, but I'm not sure. I'm going to try to link this as soon as it drops, but at the moment, I can't. So, like, it, it's, when you see this, it'll be available, and I will have it linked down in the description, um, at least as far as I know. If not, then um, it'll be any time now. But my point by saying that is that I don't know the exact price tag, but I will say if this is under 50, if this is 50 and less, I would say it's a great buy. Um, the reason why I'm saying 50 and less is because when you get to 60, 65, there's a huge arena of competitors at that price there's a lot of competition and when you know i consider my couple nitpicks on this you know in the 65 dollar range i could find some knives that don't have those little nitpicks so not that this knife wouldn't be worth 65 dollars i'm just saying that in the arena it's going to be you know there's so much competition um anyways but like i said for 50 or less 55 you know maybe even 60 or less you know uh, wow, yeah, this would be a good one. So the nitpicks, one is T6, as you guys already knew that was coming. Non-reversible clip, which I think is a mistake on their end because these are, you know, it's a button lock. Button locks should be lefty friendly. So, you know, you'd want a reversible clip. The next thing is plunge grind and sharpening toil. This will definitely create a smile. As you sharpen steel off, you will hit the plunge grind. This plunge grind should be moved back. If you want to see what a smile looks like, this is what is going to happen to this knife. As you sharpen up, it's gonna hit the plunge grind right here and you're gonna sharpen into the plunge grind, making it look wonky. And you know, there's a couple other issues that come with that, but um, you know, it's not that big of a deal. 
Uh, you could always cut in your own choil for the most part. There is a stop pin right there, which is my next little nitpick. The stop pins are pretty tiny. Um, now, this isn't like a hard use knife or anything, so I don't think it's that big of a deal, but I prefer bigger uh, stop pins. Uh, the closing stop pin, I'm not so worried about. That's the real tiny one, but that's just the closing one, so it doesn't really matter. But the opening one is the one that I kind of wish was a little bit bigger. Um, but, uh, but anyways, so it might be difficult for you to cut in a choil. You'd have to make sure you just cut in a little tiny notch if you were going to do it. Otherwise, just sharpen it and sharpen it up the blade. Try to avoid um, hitting the plunge grind as much as possible. So one other negative I would complain about is this front flipper. While I can do it and it does work, it's not the easiest or the best front flipper. It just doesn't go up high enough. This thing ramps up right here. So when you're doing it, it's almost like you're, you're trying to put a lot of effort into doing it rather than it being effortless. I'm not sure if this was intentionally supposed to be a front flipper, but if it was, th this is up too high and this isn't high enough. So, you know, it's just, it's too close to this. And like I said, I can do it. And I'm not saying you can't. And a lot of people, most people are gonna be able to do it. Um, it's just, it takes a little bit more effort than that I would like. And it just does, it's not satisfying like the thumb studs are. The thumb studs are very satisfying. But I'll be honest, most people are, you know, you're just gonna use it as a thumb stud knife or a reverse flicking knife more than anything anyways. But like I said, all in all, man, uh, for, I don't know exactly how much money, but like I said, if it's under 60 bucks, uh, you know, under 50, 55, 15 less. Wow. Yeah. Um, really, really good. And, and it, it has a good look to it. You know, it has a really cool look to it. I do like that. And, you know, Remet, man, um, I'm not sure exactly who's doing their knives, if they're doing their own OEM work or what, but whoever's doing them is doing a killer job. So got to give them credit. Anyways, work hard, stay tough. You know, society's relying on you until next time. Peace.